Okay, this how-to video is going to describe how to use um, the vertically placed components option that's available with the Allegro PCB editor with miniaturization. So file change editor would need at least an Allegro PCB designer with the miniaturization option to be able to use this feature. So we've talked about embedded components in other videos. So there's a setup, uh, embedded layer setup. Um, we recently just talked about a dual side contact for components, but by doing this, Mates is, gives us actually the ability to place a component vertically between the substrate, between layers in a board. And the way we would do this is uh, if we go and open the symbol that we want to do, so let's go and open the, the, the capacitor. We've effectively just got two pads on top of one another. Um, so there's a there's a top side component pad. Um, let's have a quick look in the 3D view just to kind of give you a an indication there's a there's a pad there there's a pad there there's our place keep out so the capacitor will be mounted between these two layers so I've got a height of 38 mils um, as the package height and the two pads are defined as just just a top top base pad and a bottom base pad so if we go to tools pad stack and modify we'll look at the top base pad that's specifically just a surface mount top pad and then the bottom pad is literally just a bottom layer pad as well so once that's done, obviously we need the property as well. So if we go to edit properties and we'll look at the, the drawing level properties for the symbol, we've got a dual side component property applied to the symbol as well. So if we go back to the board, then if we go to our embedded layer setup, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this capacitor onto signal layer 6, so it'll be a body up and a direct attach, so it's going to be soldered directly to, to signal layer 6. We'll hit apply and OK, and then we'll go and place um, one of the capacitors. Let's just pick C1 and place C1. So you can see, obviously, I've got a pad on the top of the board and a pad on signal layer 6, so that's it connecting between those layers, but I'm getting a DRC error. So let's just find out what the DRC error is. I've got a package height to layer spacing between signal layer 6. So the constraint value is written as, as kind of 8 mils and the actual value is 38, that's the height of the capacitor. So if we actually look at the embedded layer setup, what it's looking at is effectively the direct attach, it's looking at this, this thickness here in this dielectric. Now I need to make 38 mils, so I need to effectively make the layers to allow the protruding through the component all the way up to effectively the top layer so that the pad on the bottom layer to the pad on the top layer would then allow that. So if I hit apply and OK, you'll see that the DRC error disappears. So if we just turn on some place boundary, and then what we'll do is we'll have a quick look in the 3D view. Let's just look at the front view. You can see there's my component on the top of the board. There's my embedded component there top layer down to layer 6. 